call this question red versus blue. Now this is a simple question. I'll quickly summarize the question for you. There are a series of N matches that was being played. Uh, team red won R times. Uh, team blue won B times. Team blue was less skilled, so this uh, B is less than R. Fine, strictly less than R. Okay, so it's strictly less than R. You missed the stream since you overslept and all, so that is some story here. But what they are asking is, you imagine a string, a length of length n, where ith character denotes who won the ith match, right? R if uh, team red won, B if uh, blue team won. Now this imagine string. Uh, maximum number of times a team won in a row was as small as possible right so that's what they are asking so the question is pretty simple they have given this three things n r and b where this r is strictly greater than b and r plus b is equal to n so what does this n is uh, these are the number of matches that was being played and uh, this r plus b is uh, how many times red won and uh, b is how many times blue won and uh, this r is strictly greater than b because b team was less skilled and what you want to output is you want to output a string made up of just R's and B's with just one condition. Maximum number of times a team won in a row was as less as possible. Simple. So N R B R strictly greater than B. Output me a string, a binary string of R and B such that maximum number of times a team won in a row was as small as possible. And from the classical problem in permutation combination. Of boys and girls such that no two boys sit together or no two girls sit together. Uh, it's not exactly that problem, but uh, I got an idea from that. So maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. So the problem, I don't know if you know it. So the thing is, let's say you are given uh, some seven boys and three girls and you want to arrange them in a way that no two girls sit together. So what are you going to do is you're going to just put uh, the girls first. Okay. So once you put the girls in three places, right, because there are three girls. Uh, what you will be end up with is you will have some gaps here and now the boys have to be arranged here. So how many gaps are there? There are one, two, three, four gaps. Since so there were three girls, now you have four gaps. So if you have G girls, you will have G plus one gaps and now you are going to arrange uh, B boys into it. You don't need to know this problem, but uh, this is uh, where I approach this question. So this looked similar to that. So what they are asking is uh, we want to minimize the maximum run of wins, right? So I'll write our aim here. Minimize the maximum run of wins. Uh, more specifically, if you think about it, maximum run of Rs, right? Because Rs are more, right? So this you already know. Since R is very more, uh, like possibly uh, you'll have to deal Rs in a much better way than Bs. Because even if you put Bs uh, separated, since Rs are more, and using that idea from gap method, R is at least one more than B, right? So B can uh, never be uh, like B can never cause a problem. The maximum run of B will be at most one. That's that's one thing. Uh, so let's now concretize a little bit. So the aim is to minimize the maximum run of wins, right? Or in other words, the maximum run of R's because B's are not going to create problem. Okay. So how are you going to do it? The greedy strategy here that is uh, pretty straightforward. What is a greedy strategy? Is uh, split this. R's, so you will have R number of R's, right? So split R's equally, split R equally among what? B plus 1 groups. Okay, so what do I mean by that is the same strategy. Uh, putting R's consecutively is creating problem, right? So what you do first is you just arrange the B's like this. You put the B's first, okay? And there will be some gaps created. And now distribute R's here. Distribute R's equally in the gaps that are created. And this will ensure B is anyway going to be 1. It will be strictly 1. It won't exceed 1. Why? Because you have at least one more R, right? So R is at least, so what I mean by that is you have at least R 1 more than B. So there will be R here, here, here. So in the worst case also, the longest run of B will be 1. And you have B plus 1 groups. So you are splitting R's as much as possible you know you have more number of r's right because the team red won many number of times so in this case you are giving maximum splitting in a sense you're distributing as much as possible so split equally uh, i know it's a bit uh, of actual thing because you may not be able to split r's every time right but let's uh, keep it keep that for now if you split r's equally here you are sure that maximum number of wins is as less as possible so what i'm trying to say here is if you want to take an example 
let just say uh, number of hours you have is 15 and gaps let just say uh, the gaps that you have so gaps is just b plus 1 okay the gaps if you have let me just take r equals to 12 r equals to 12 and gaps if you had uh, let's say two gaps so there are only one b then what are you going to do if you had only one b could be like this put six guys here put six guys here you cannot do better than this of course it's obvious let's say you have uh, gaps to be three that is you have two b's and uh, put like split them equally right so put 12 by 3 4 here 4 here 4 here there is no better strategy than this this is this gives you the maximum chance of distributing the wins in a way that maximum run of wins is as less as possible I want to take one more example let's just take gap equals to 4 so you have four number of b's so, so in this this example so in this case 12 by 4 3 here 3 here 3 here 3 here the best split right in with the maximum run of wins is as less as possible okay but I told here uh, for convenience we have uh, asked it to split equally but it may not split equally right it's not necessary that this r will be split equally so one example uh, if you think r is 15 if r is 15 then of course uh, 2 won't divide it right then 3 will divide it 4 won't divide it so these are the cases right where it will create problem okay uh, then it won't split equally if it won't split equally then of course it will leave a remainder right if it won't split equally it will get a remainder right so what i'm trying to say is if r mod uh, b plus 1 is 0 then of course you can split equally right and what what how many number of reds each group will have each groups will have r divided by b plus 1 number of elements in each of the group but if it is not the case this you agree with me right so if uh, r mod b plus 1 is 0 that is you can split them in equal groups uh, to how many number of gaps you have the number of reds in each group will be r by b plus 1 right so 12 by 2 6 6 12 by 3 4 4 4 and 12 by 4 uh, 3 3 3 right so that is what it is so these many reds you will have in each group right so these are like a number of reds in each group this is the case when r is divisible by number of gaps that you have but if number of gaps uh, like doesn't divide perfectly number of reds you have then of course uh, r mod b plus 1 uh, will have a remainder and this is going to lie in what range uh, it's going to lie in 0 to b right simple right of course uh, when you divide a number by x the remainder that it leaves it lies in range 0 to x minus 1 so when it doesn't perfectly divide it it's going to lie in this range 0 to b 0 to b right uh, and how many gaps you have you have b plus 1 gaps and the worst case you will only have a uh, b you will have only b reds remaining so what you can do is you can uh, this remainder to 1 1 until there is remaining okay in other words whatever remainder you have remaining let's just call this remainder to be leftovers whatever leftover you have this leftover is less than number of gaps you have right so what you can do is you can give one to different groups right so in the worst case uh, the total number of reds that you will have will be one more than this but not more than that this is a better strategy right okay so yeah I guess that is the question. <laughs> question for you. We wanted to minimize the maximum run of wins. So the better strategy or the greedy strategy that came to my mind is if I put B's like this and arrange R's in the gaps that are formed by putting B's, I'll get them, I'll get right. So the strategy is split R's equally among the B plus one groups, right? But it may not happen that it, it is divided equally so what you can do is then you will be left with the remainder the remainder that is left is still less than number of gaps you have so what you can do is you can just distribute one to each of the unique groups of uh, of the leftovers right so i'll complete this with one example okay so if it's still confusing to you this example should clear your doubts let's just say n is 19 and r is 13 and b is uh, 6 right so now what you want to do is 6 b's right so you'll have 6 b's one two three four five six okay i should have written it behind yeah tick, tick. you have uh, six groups here so there will be seven gaps right so one two three four five six seven there are seven gaps here fine how many uh reds so you are going to distribute this 13 to this seven gaps right so this 13 divided by seven what is 13 divided by seven one so each one of the gaps you will put one red here one red here one red here one red here red here red here red here red here but it doesn't divide equally right so there is a remainder 
A remainder is 13 mod 7. What is the remainder? A remainder is 6. This 6 is still less than number of gaps you have. So just give 1 to each of the unique gaps and you are sure the maximum number of runs is still minimized. Right? In a, any other way you try to distribute this 6, you will always get more number of like, you can always make it better by distributing it to one of the each of the unique groups. So what you can do is about the 6, you can give let's say 1 red here, 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 here. Any way which you want, I'm just distributing it linearly because it eases the implementation. So yeah, that's the question. Let's just finish it off by implementing it. Okay, guys, uh, let's quickly implement it. I've already taken the input N, R, and B. First things first, uh, I need to split equally R, right? So what are the number of reds in a group? I have to find it. So number of reds will be R divided by B plus 1. And right? we already see it. And the remainder. If there is a remainder, I have to find it, right? So that remainder will be what? Uh, it will be R mod B plus 1, right? Whatever the remainder you have, mod, right? Not multiplication. R mod B plus 1, right? So that is the remainder. If the remainder is 0, it's fine. So how are you going to arrange it? Uh, the strategy uh, that I'm going to employ here is uh, put reds, then I put a B, okay? Then uh, put reds again, then put a B, and so on, right? That's what I'm going to do. Cool, fine. Put red, put a B, fine. So, how are you gonna do it? So, for every B, right? So, I have been every B will be placed any which way. So, I equals to uh, 0, I less than B. So, first I'm gonna put reds, you remember, right? So, there are B plus 1 gaps created. So, first red come, then a B, then again red, and then a B. Fine. Even the answer, like you can see, most of the answers are like this only. So, that also gives you a hint. Most of the R's, then a B. Most of the R's, then a B. So on, right? And in some sense, uh, in some examples, you might see. Uh, Okay, I guess there are not much here, but yeah, some of the examples you will see here. See, in this case, there are three R's and there are three R's and there are only two R's. Why did it, why did this happen? Because 8 mod 3, that is 8 mod 3 is what? 2, right? So that's what happened. These two R's slipped here. 8 divided by 3, 2. So 2, 2 R's, 2, 2 R's first came, right? 2, 2 R's first came and then the remainder 2 was remaining. So we distributed it to each unique group. That's what it is, right? Fine. So, yeah, first I have to put reds. So, how many reds do I have to put? In j equals to 0, j less than n reds, j plus plus. And uh, I have to create an answer here, right? So, I'll create a string here. The constraints are pretty less, so we are okay with integers. String answer. Cool. So, that will be empty string. And here, I can do is answer dot push back red. Cool. And now, uh, one thing, right? If there is a remainder, if there is a remainder, what do you need to do? You need to push back one more R, right? Because if there is, if it is, if it is equal split, then there won't be a remainder, so you don't need to push it. And of course, you have to reduce it, right? So one to each unique group. So fine, remainder minus minus, and then I have to place a B. I have to place a B here, fine. And one thing remains. Uh, what is what remains? Uh, distribute the remaining reds. Since you know that the remainder in the worst case will be B, so the remainder will be zero. If you come here, the remainder will be 0 since you have placed, like, since you have considered B number of gaps, right? So, what I am trying to say here is, if you have put this B, you have covered B gaps, so remainder will be 0. Okay, that's one thing. And, yeah, uh, what you have to do, you have to put the remaining number of reds. In I equals to 0, I less than n reds, I plus plus, answer dot push back R. Right, so, and in the end, you have to put the answer. Cool. So yeah, that's that. Um, calculate number of reds in a group. Calculate the remainder. Uh, put put reds. Put a b. Put reds. Put a b. So on. And uh, you have to also take care of if there is a remainder. And then in the end, you can place the last set of reds. And yeah, that's it. Let's just quickly run it. It seems to be working. Let me just quickly submit it. Yeah, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.